So we are entering the New Shepard crew capsule here. Blue Origin's fully autonomous capsule has flown six flights and carried 31 people to space. The impact of seeing the Earth below you and space around you is, is so commonly profound to astronauts who have experienced it that it has its own name. It's called the overview effect. Barrett Schlegel Milth with Blue Origin trains passengers who they call astronauts to go into space. It's amazing. Like I wake up every day and uh, you know driving to work where we're building little rockets and rocket engines right here. So it's it's super exciting. What's arguably most intriguing about the new Shepard is that it's reusable. We are entering a new age in the space industry where uh, we're bringing down the cost of launch with operationally reusable vehicles. A new age of reusable rockets that many local businesses in Washington are ahead of. It's the last big domino to fall to really unlock the space economy and, and, and push our industry into the future. There's 13,000 space jobs and so my guess is there's probably hardly anybody who's in the space business that doesn't have some uh, dealings with NASA. NASA's Artemis 3 mission is taking off next year and will bring a four-person crew to the moon for the first time in 50 years. The Artemis program has 42 Washington suppliers. NASA doesn't do it by itself. It does it with our partners. And that's what you're seeing some evidence of here today. Senator Maria Cantwell and NASA Administrator Bill Nelson are proposing a manufacturing institute in Washington to encourage research and development. Today's jobs and tomorrow's future's jobs are going to depend on the manufacturing sector assembled here today. Expanding on the aerospace presence the state already has. It is really inspiring uh, to see a literal space vehicle and rocket being built right here across the street. According to NASA, Washington space industry has an annual economic impact of $4.6 billion. NASA made it clear that its partnership with commercial businesses are essential to getting people to the moon and to Mars. Live in the studio, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.